And here we go. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time now for our tale of the tape. First up, Kingmaker. And he'll be going up against Sugar Ray Leonard. 145 pounds, 5 foot 9 inches tall with a reach of 70 and 1 half inches. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. Up first, Kingmaker from the United States of America. Sugar Ray Leonard. He, of course, won world titles in five different weight classes, including the undisputed welterweight title. His hometown is Wilmington, North Carolina. It'll be ding ding from first bell. They're off. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from the United States of America. Wearing the red trunks with red trim. Kingmaker. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five-division champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves, and here we go. All what's left is for the first bell to go. That's all we need now because the buildup is getting ridiculous. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves, and here we go. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Oh, that jab's starting to mark them up. I want to think of holding on here for a minute. Is he going to punch himself out, though? Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Mix it up. Body, head, do smart, change your angles. Go out there and finish it. He's ready. Right. You're so close, kid. Come on. Bang him downstairs. Jab, jab. That's what I'm talking about. And he's nearly down. He's there and finish it. He's ready to go. Bang him downstairs. Jab, jab. That's what I'm talking about. Ready to go. Just mix it up. Body, head, be smart, change your angles, go out there. This kid ain't got no gas in the tank no more. You were so close, kid. Come pull over. He's ready to go now. Jump all over. The referee calling for seconds out. Right back into the action. He's willing to fight. He's nearly done. He's ready to go. Woo. Jump all over. He's ready. They ring the bell, and here we go. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on there, and that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight, not yet, not until your senses have come back. You'd like to see more jabs. He threw a punch and just got countered. All right, hook misses. Both men step back for just a moment. 
At some point, the corner needs to decide we have to protect our fighter. And down goes Kingmaker. Let's watch that again in replay from a different angle. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. To make or break a fighter. Got that oxygen back in the body. Can you breathe? Breathe in the lap. Okay. Nice. That is all right. Breathe. Breathe. So you'll be fine. Get on the end of the jab and keep stepping. Keep moving. Breathe. Four. Right. In this next round, when you get through the right, get that oxygen back in the body. Can you breathe? Breathe in the lap. Kid, you got this, yeah? Just get through the round. Don't worry about the knockdown. We'll be fine. Get on the end of the jab. And keep... Don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up. Breathe. Focus. Get that oxygen back in your body. Or you get through the round. Just get through the round. Don't do nothing stupid. All right? Don't... Don't worry about the knockdown. We'll be fine. Get on the end of the jab. And get on the end of the jab. Keep stepping. Keep moving. Keep... Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back into the action. Right. In this next round, or you get through the round. Just get the and there's the bell to start the round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. A typical outside fighter, as you know, focuses on defense. Stick and move, stick and move. Todd, this is what it's all about. Hit and don't get hit. Jab, move, pop, slip. Use your footwork. Drive your opponent crazy. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect. And that was it. That was the big shot we were waiting for. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. I'm telling you if he's done. Jump all over. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you've broken this kid's work. Mix it up. Body, head, be smart. Change your angles. Go out there and finish it. He's right. You're so close, kid. Come on. Banging downstairs. Jab, jab. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you've broken this kid's will to fight. He's nearly down. This kid, I'm finishing. He's ready to go. Woo! Banging downstairs. Jab, jab. That's what I'm talking about. Ready to go. Just mix it up. Body, head, be smart. Change your angles. Go out there. This kid ain't got no gas in the tank no more. You, you're so close, kid. Come pull over. He's ready to go now. Jump all over. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. He's ready to fight. He's nearly down. He's ready to go. Woo. Jump all over. He's ready. Fight. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. He needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Every, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice counter shot. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Ready. Ready. All right, three, 
The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. Right. In this next round, when you get through the round, just get through the... And there's the bell to start the round. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. It's a good thing we can watch that all over again. I've got to see that again. seconds to go and what domination we've seen in this round that'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown i love the response though got back up took a deep breath and thought right brush it off get on with the job And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Come on. Good. Right. In this next round, when you get through the round, just get through the round. They ring the bell, and here we go. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast the round. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. He blocks that jab. Halfway through the round, and I don't know, Baron Kingmaker gets dropped. And in this replay, you can see it. That body punch folded in like a lawn chair. A shot from the gods took him out. Onward and upward after a knockout win here. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again. 